Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Take a look at these four examples, and we're looking for the length of each arc. All right, round your answers to the nearest tenth. Pause, and good luck. All right, the answers are as given. Uh, number one is 89.0. Now, let's see how we get that. Remember that what you do is you take the circumference, which is 2 times pi times the radius, in this case, 17, and then you multiply it by the central angle 300 divided by the entire circumference um, rotation which is 360 degrees okay so we're rotating 300 out of 360 degrees so let's go ahead and do some simplifying I can factor out um, 30 from each of those numbers I can also factor out 2 and by the time I multiply 1 times pi times 17 times 10 divided by 6, and I know I could also divide out a factor of 2 there, but the answer should be 89.0 as we round to the nearest tenth. Okay. Number 2, circumference is 2 times pi times the radius of 11 times the central angle 225 divided by 360 degrees. Let's factor out some factors here. I can divide out uh, 5 from each of these numbers. I can also divide uh, 2 more out of the 72 and the 2. And that will give me the smallest numbers possible. Let's go ahead and multiply 1 times pi times 11 times 45 and divide the whole thing by 36. I know it looks pretty messy at this point, but hopefully you're gonna get 43.2. All right, on to number three. For these two problems, the central angle is expressed in radians, which is a fraction of pi, or at least a multiple of pi. So the basic idea here, we're still gonna get circumference, which is two times pi times the radius, in this case, 12. We're going to multiply by the central angle, which is 5 sixth pi. Okay, not quite half a rotation around. And we're going to divide it by an entire rotation. And in radians, that's 2 pi. Okay, in degrees, entire rotation around a circle is 360. In radians, it's 2 pi. Now, there's a lot of common factors that I can cancel out. A 2 and a pi from both top and bottom. And the 6 actually can be written down here, okay, because we have a fraction there. So we can think of it as 5 on top, 6 on the bottom. And yes, then I can cancel out a factor of 6. Okay, so it turns out to be 10 pi, which is going to be 31.4. All right, now what's the shortcut? Notice that you have a 2 and a pi on the top that comes from the circumference, and you have a 2 and a pi um, dividing by a 2 and a pi because of the entire rotation around the circle. That 2 there, and that 2 there, and that pi, and that pi will always be in this formula when we're working with the radians. So what's the shortcut? Well, basically you're going to take the central angle, and you're going to multiply it by the radius. Okay, a nice little shortcut. But let's go ahead and continue with number four and see how you did. Circumference is 2 times pi times the radius of 15. Multiply by the central angle, which is 5 pi over 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and just also put the 2 pi down there. Remember, we're dividing by the entire rotation of the circle, which is 2 pi. As always, we can cancel out these 2's and these pi factors here. 
and it looks like that's it. So we have 5, or sorry, 15 times 5 times pi, all divided by 4, which is, should give me my 58.9 kilometers. All right, thanks for trying this self quiz. Appreciate it. Share this with others and send me some comments. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.